The complete streets concept that we're trying to do in Alexandria is a multimodal concept. So it serves the whole community and not just the auto-driven community. The project involves complete reconstruction of everything. It's a huge project. It's very disruptive. The City of Alexandria staff really went above and beyond engaging the whole community. In June of 2010, they started a series of meetings. They invited small business owners to retail shop owners to influential people in the community, and they said, this is what we're thinking, and this is what we would like your input on. And there was very much this feeling of an opportunity ahead of us. The community as a whole came together and how we could visualize Alexandria being different than it is today. We see a lot of near misses and have seen a pedestrian hit right at our corner. I think the, the curves in the sidewalks and, and bump out areas will help traffic slow down a little bit. The greatest benefit of this project for me and for this business will be increased business. You can make everything beautiful, you can make everything pretty, but if people aren't coming and you're not increasing your business, it, it didn't work. I really believe that this will work and I really do believe that this will increase our traffic to this area. The bike trails around Alexandria are used extensively and they're very nice, but it's difficult to get from there into the downtown area. We have signs that say bicycles are not allowed. That's what we have right now. And so we're really trying to change that culture. The Central Lakes Trail goes by Alexandria. There's about 100,000 people a year that use the Central Lakes Trail. We believe that if we can pull you know, another percent into the downtown, that we can have an economic benefit. You know, I think whenever you do a project, there's always skeptics, there's always going to be concerns. People said, oh, we can't afford it. But to me, we can't afford not to do it. You know, it's going to hurt a little for a while, but it'll be a, a very good thing. If you're going to be in business, either you're, you're staying the same or going backward or going forward, and we definitely want to be a community that's going forward. It's 2016 now, and the Broadway project was completed almost two years ago. It was inconvenient, but then we knew it was going to be. Um, it was dirty, but we knew it was going to be. There were a lot of construction surprises in the project. We ran into underground things every day. If you're going to rebuild a 100-year-old downtown, that's what you're going to find, and we just had to roll with it. So the design has to change. You have to have really good people. I was open for one year before the construction started. It was a little bit slow that summer, but we've made up for it since. We did fare pretty well, like hardly dropped at all. I probably can't say that for all the businesses, but for us personally. I knew it would be an impact, but I thought, well, we just have to live through it because it's gonna be so much better in the end. Business is back up to where it was before or a little better. The goal of this whole project was to increase business, and that definitely happened for us. The very next year, we recouped what we were down plus a couple percent. The next year after that, we were actually up another 7% over that. It was just a matter of making it through the construction, just making people aware that we are still open, make sure to come down, check out the progress, you can see what's happening. We got new people with some of the new events that we did, like the wine and art crawl and party in street. During the construction project, we had what we thought would be a one-time event, which was a downtown street party. It was so successful and people enjoyed it so that we've continued doing it. And this year was the third annual event and it draws thousands of people into the downtown. It's not like this is a interstate going through here anymore, that it's now has a small town inviting atmosphere. It is a little bit slower and a a little bit tighter for vehicles to drive through in a way that's beneficial for pedestrians. People are much more conscientious about right turns and walking across the street. So much safer now. I haven't witnessed any pedestrian accidents at our corner in the last couple years. We're about 50% of what our five-year average crash rate was, so I'm very happy with how that's turned out. I love having the trees, flowers, plants. It just looks much more inviting. The design, the layout of the sidewalks especially, down to the details of the different colors instead of just one bland color of gray concrete. It's amazing in the summertime, you'll come and there'll be a gang of bikes out front. I mean, it's just fun to see the kids riding up with their parents, you know, and coming in and getting a treat after being on the bike trail. We have been able to put bicycle racks on the northwest corners of all the blocks in downtown Alexandria. Bicyclists, for example, are tremendous customers. 
The active living is, is a, a great goal, but it's hard to sell. It's easier to sell economics. Any other town that might choose to go through with this project, there's going to be hurdles. You have to be persistent. I think it's a key thing that business owners and business managers become involved with that. The businesses were great. They just couldn't have been better. They tried to make it as fun as they could. They didn't allow negative thoughts to just prevail. Well, I hope that the city will continue being receptive to public input. There are little things that will need to be adjusted or tweaked, and I think there's continuing evaluation of how things are working, how things look. It made us stronger. We were forced to play well with others and make some decisions together that was going to hopefully benefit all of us, and I think that really, I think that was successful. Blue Cross Blue Shield helped tremendously, especially at the beginning. When we were in the planning and the visioning stages, that's where we needed the help. Because of the Broadway project, I think Alexandria looks like it's really moving ahead and keeping up with times. And overall, the project has been very good for the community and for the overall future of the economy here and, and tourism. When we opened our store, there was, you know, 14, 15 buildings to choose from. And when I look at it today, you know, after the project, there isn't an empty storefront. I just think it really just speaks well for the whole community. I'm very proud of how it looks.